Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk about the GunBot trading bot. This is what I'd say make a video on. And uh, I just wanted to make a video more in depth about the trading bot, sort of how I use it, how I would recommend you use it, and sort of going over all the different strategies that come with the GunBot. Um, so first off, the GunBot is a bot developed by Gunther, um, and he sells the licenses for it. Um, but you can buy it online from a bunch of different resellers. And I'm just going to tell you right now, they all sell it for the same price. Um, so there's no incentive to buy it from anyone in specific. Um, so first off, let's start up at the top on GunBot. So this is, first off, this is version 3.3. .3. Um, there are other versions of the bot. I think the newest one is 4.0.3. Um, and those other versions do not have a, uh, a does not have a GUI. It it only has a uh, it's just a console running the program. Um, so I, I just I like being able to see everything uh, a lot nicer. I think this is a lot more user friendly, and so uh, I I like using this one for now. I might switch once I get more advanced with the bot. Um, but I think you know for even maybe the first month or two that you use the bot. You should use whichever one has GUI, and right now the newest one that has GUI is 3.3. .3. This is also the most stable version of the bot. Um, so yeah. Um, so next thing you see down here is the cryptocurrency pair. So Bitcoin to you know whatever cryptocurrency you want. This also does not have to trade from Bitcoin to a different cryptocurrency. You could do uh, Ethereum or USD Tether to something else. Um, and then obviously whatever exchange you want. I use Bittrex. You can also choose Kraken or Poloniex. I like Bittrex better um, just because I think it's a better exchange. It's safer and it also has a lot more coins. So next here you see your API key in secret. This is you get what you get from the website, um, from the API settings on whatever website you're using. And this is something that I didn't get at first, but your license is attached to your API key in secret. So if you buy a license for the Bittrex exchange, your license will be attached to the API key in secret that you initially bought it with. Um, so if you ever want to update to a newer version of the program, you just have to make sure you still have your API key in secret uh, in order to use it, and you should be good. Um, so the next thing here is uh, the different settings. Um, so the bot, as of right now, has four settings. Um, four settings that you can use for either buy or sell. So you can also combine them if you want to use one setting to buy and a different setting to sell. Uh, I do not currently use that for any of my uh, trades, but you can do that. And I don't think it's a bad idea for certain situations in the market. I think it's very useful that uh, they do allow that uh, with the bot. So the first thing that you see here is the gain settings. So this is a way that you can trade, but also all trades do go through this setting before going uh, to any of the other uh, trading methods you may have below it. So for example, if, if you want to sell, uh, the bot will not sell if it is not over a percent gain that you set here. Now you can trade only according to this percent gain or uh, percent that you want to buy. Um, you can trade solely on that, but all other trades that use for Bollinger Band, Ping Pong, or Step Gain uh, do go through this before. So for example, if it is 20% below the Bollinger Band, but it is not... Um, 3% below the estimated mark, the market average, then it will not buy. So it, it goes through these before uh, any other trades. Now uh, the next settings are Bollinger Band. So pretty much Bollinger Band, I did show in my other video, but let me just go on a random cryptocurrency here. Uh, and here we go, studies, Bollinger Band. So this is just, so Bollinger Band I like um, because so it's a it's a calculated market average uh, or movement of the market, and uh, it, it finds certain places you know above or below market average where it might want to buy or sell. 
So with this one, uh, this is not a coin that I would trade with the bot. Um, uh, let's let's look at a different one. Uh, here we go. I have traded this one before on the bot, and uh, so here you go. So this one, this is one I've traded before, and as you can see, why it's very volatile. So for example, if you set your bot to 20% uh, low Bollinger Band, so this is the price that you would uh, buy it at, and this is the price you'd sell it at. So 20% below is basically starting from the bottom, so starting from this bottom line uh, that the bot uses. This is a rough, this is not exactly what the bot uses, uh, because I'm just looking at uh, the chart on Bittrex, but this is basically roughly what it does. So 20% uh, from the bottom line right here uh, is where the bot would buy. So obviously the smaller this percentage is, the lower uh, margin you would have to buy. So uh, if you find you know a coin only rebounds whenever it goes to really a certain percentage below the Bollinger Band, then you want to set that lower. Uh, if you if you see a coin is just you know bouncing up and down a little bit right in the middle, then you might want to set that to you know a higher number so it's a, a larger margin like maybe 50 percent you know that would go all the way up to here so it would buy at this level um so yeah just looking at the market conditions that's something very important with this bot you know some people you think you can just buy a bot and let it run forever you know you really still do have to look at the market and make sure you're trading the best pairs possible and also always changing your settings to make them the most profitable um so the next setting here is ping pong so this one's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you set two prices that you uh, want to buy and sell at, and uh, say say a coin is very stable. So say right here, I wanted to trade ping pong. So a coin is very stable, and it's just going up and down at the same price. Uh, then it'll buy at one price, sell at another, and it just con keeps continuing that. It doesn't take into account any uh, upwards movement or uh, anything like that. It just keeps on staying at one level. So that's what ping pong is. And uh, then step gain is pretty much a more complicated version of uh, percent gain. This takes uh, the market average um, and basically leverages a certain amount of movement uh, from the coin. So uh, if a coin is going down, for example, right here, if a coin is going down, uh, the more it goes down, uh, the more the bot is leveraged to buy the cryptocurrency. Um, so that's, that's another way of trading that this bot uses. Uh, and then finally, we have some of the balance settings down here. So the amount uh, of balance you want to trade. Um, so pretty much, you know, the maximum. Usually the bot does use the maximum amount to trade. Um, so the amount you want the bot to trade each time it buys or sells that cryptocurrency that you set it to. And uh, the security margin is the amount uh, that the coin can crash before the bot just overrides anything else and sells. Um, and then down here you have some more uh, complicated settings. I haven't changed any of these. These affect the uh, different calculations and uh, market average that the bot calculates. I have not changed these. Uh, if you see a different video where you know yourself that you want to change these, then you may do so. Uh, down here is the candlestick period that the bot looks at and analyzes. For So for example, right here, uh, I have it set to a 30 minute candlestick period. So you know on my screen here it doesn't look like there are that many buys, but maybe if I put it to a one or five minute candlestick period, you know, then you see this and you say, oh wow, I could have bought here. There, there's a lot more movement. So I, I like to keep it at a uh, around a five minute candlestick period. Um, and then down here is the price delay. So I have it set to 15 seconds to coins that move a lot. Um, just because I want it to, to be checking the price every second, making sure it's always updated the fastest. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much all the settings on this section. Uh, next over here, we have uh, stop, start, load, save. So pretty much every time you make a new coin, you want to trade a new coin. So for example, Bitcoin to Ethereum. Uh, so you set all your settings. Then you, what you do is you hit save. Um, and it will save that pair um, and you will be able to see it in the load uh, section right here and then once you hit start it starts trading the uh, pair and once you hit stop so you select a pair from down here 
you hit stop and it'll stop trading it. Um, whenever you hit stop, a question that some people may have is whenever you hit stop, does it automatically sell the cryptocurrency that you were holding uh, that it may have been trading? Uh, the answer is no, not with this version of the bot. It does not automatically sell all your cryptocurrency uh, of that coin that you were trading. You will have to manually do that or restart the bot uh, for it to continue trading. Uh, so when, if you close the bot and then uh, open it again, it will resume all uh, pairs. It will give you an option to resume all the pairs that you were trading before. Um, so that's that's a nice feature that this bot uses. Um, and so yeah, that, that's pretty much an overview of how to use the bot itself. Next I will show you some of the trades the bot has been doing on my account. So here you can see some of the tr coins I've been trading. Right now, I'm not. I do not have that many pairs traded on the bot. Um, I do recommend you have more pairs than this to maximize your profit. Um, but I will be making videos in the future to update on current pairs that I am trading. Um, but anyways, the pairs that I, of the pairs that I am trading right now, as you can see here, it has been very profitable. You know, I'm I'm making a good amount every trade. I'm thinking of increasing. Well, as you can see, my bot just set some new buy orders for uh, APX. Um, but as you can see, you know, it makes a good amount of money every trade. And uh, I'm thinking of increasing the amount it can trade uh, for some of these pairs that have been making me a lot of money or have been moving a lot. Uh, for example, APX, let's go ahead and check what it is buying at. So as you can see here, I really like this currency. It fluctuates so much. Like, that's, that's really great. So here, five minutes, I think, as you can see, that's that's a pretty great place to buy at, uh, just because of its current trend. I love how uh, how much this coin fluctuates. Uh, I think it, it looks really great. Plus, another thing that I look for in the uh, coins that I'm trading is the overall uptrend. Um, so that's one thing that I think is important in case, you know, something goes wrong with the bot. You know, I want it to be on an uptrend, so I'm not finding myself losing money in case something goes wrong. Um, another thing I look for when choosing a coin to trade is uh, something obviously that is very volatile and has an uptrend, but also something that is not uh, pumping or dumping. So for example, uh, Mon Monaco, which has been moving a lot recently, as you can see it just recently uh, shot up right here. This is a coin that I, maybe I would trade you know, here after after the pump if it shows that it's not going to just dump out right from the beginning. But this is a very risky coin in my opinion to trade right now, just because you don't really know what the next big move is gonna be or if it's really gonna stay at this price. Now, if this coin had not just pumped up to this uh, very high price, then I maybe would be trading it just because of how volatile it is. And uh, there is also a huge volume currently on this coin. Um, and also I found that the larger the volume, usually the larger the amount of trades the bot makes just because, you know, there's more price movement faster. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, how I find the coins that I trade, an overall overview of the Gumbot and some of the trades that it has done. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to upload a lot more videos on this Gumbot, uh, certain pairs that I'm trading, and... Uh, update you guys on the profitability, the amount of money I've made on it. Uh, as of right now, the returns, I, I've been experimenting with it a lot, so I can't quite say, you know, I've used the full, the full bot and it's, uh, I haven't used everything on the bot to make the most money so far. So I do think uh, in the long run, it will be a very profitable investment. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more gun bot content and uh, more content about other cryptocurrency investments. Thanks for watching.